Hi guys and welcome to this week's reading session. Today we are going to be reading a book called Callie Wants to Dance and this should be emailed out to you on the Facebook page on the WhatsApp group. So what would be great if you could get the book up and be reading along with me while you're watching the video. Um, so I think this book's quite long today so we might read half of it this week and then when it's my session in two weeks time we'll finish reading it. So, I think this book's kind of middle ability, some hard words, but I think we should all be able to understand the story in general. So, as normal, we'll read through. I'll stop every two pages just to go over the words and make sure everyone's understanding everything. And then at the end of this half of the book, I've got some questions for you as well, uh, just to check everyone understands. Okay, so I'll start. This is the first page, so the very first page we see a picture, Callie wants to dance with someone and their hand in the air like this. So that's the first page. And then the second page, this is where we'll start reading. Okay, so I look over here, I'm just reading for you. In the fishing, fishing village of Kovalam, Callie V. Thervrapartian is a hero, not because he is an actor, not because he has fought off villains, he's a hero because he has learned to dance. It's the year 2000 and Callie is eight years old. Like many boys, he goes to school, plays with friends, watches TV. Unlike many boys, Callie also dances. Callie loves to watch Padmini dance on TV. She is a famous actor and a fantastic dancer. He pretends to wear a salangi ankle bells and dances Bharatanayam just like her. Okay. So if there's a couple of words that you don't understand there that I didn't understand either because this is a story from India. So it's got a couple of Indian words in there. Um, but I've Googled those so we can all understand what they mean. Okay. So that will go back to the very first page. So in the fishing village. So fishing is getting fish out of the sea. So you have a fishing rod and you put it into the sea and you get the fishes out. So Kali is from a fishing village. So the place where he lives, they do a lot of fishing. That's how they make money. And it says that he's a hero. This is quite a hard word. So a hero is a good person. So in stories, in the hero is the main person. He's the main character and he's the good person. So he's the hero. And he's a hero not because he's an actor. So an actor is someone who is in TV or in films or in plays. So he's not an actor, not because he's fought off villains. So when I was saying about heroes, so a hero is a good person and a villain is a bad person. So if there was a story with two people and one was really good and one was really bad, the bad person is the villain. So he's not a hero because he's fought off villains. So he's fighting them off. It's not because of that, not because of his fighting. He's a hero because he learnt to dance. So... It's quite unusual, perhaps not what we would think of as a normal hero, someone who's learning to dance, but that's what we have here. And then the next page, it says it's the year 2000, so it's 20 years ago now, so a long time ago, and Callie is eight years old, so he's only young. And in this page, we're learning about Callie and the things he does. So he's just a normal boy. He goes to school, plays with his friends, he watches TV but he also dances and that's maybe not a thing that many boys do here. And he watches this woman called Padmini on TV and it says she's a famous actor, so she's in films and she's a fantastic dancer, so she's a really, really good dancer. And he pretends to wear these salangai, which are ankle bells, so just on the bottom of his feet, if you can see, he's lifting up his foot so on the bottom of the foot, like here, 
they'll have little bells. So when you move your foot, you can hear the bell. Um, and it's traditional, I think, in kind of Bollywood Indian dancing. Um, and actually, yeah, this is one word that is quite important. The dance is Bharatanam. And this is a type of dancing in India. So that's the type of dancing that Kali wants to do. OK, so we'll move on to the third page now. Kali becomes such a good dancer that his teachers ask him to perform at school programmes. Soon he is known in the little fishing village as Barahanatayam dancer. One day, Sarah Chanda, who manages a hospital in Chennai, sees him perform on stage. She's astonished to see such a talented boy and is moved that he's gotten so far by himself. Would you like to learn Bahatnayam in Kalshetra? She asked him after the performance. Kali laughs at first. Dance. The Dalit community rarely have the opportunity to learn, let alone master Bahatnayam. In Kali's family, there is never enough money to spare for dance classes. And who has heard of boys dancing for a living? But Sarah is serious. You must learn Bharatanayam in a proper school, Kali, she says. I will pay your fees. OK. So back to page four, so we'll just talk it through. So Kali is a really good dancer. So he's been practising, he's been watching it on the TV and he's really good. And so his teachers ask him to perform at school. And he becomes quite famous. He says he's known in the little fishing village. So he's well known. He's famous for being a really, really good dancer. And one word, he says he becomes such a good dancer. So to become is to be something over time. So he was a good dancer and he's become a good dancer now because he's practiced a lot. And one day a woman called Sarah and she manages a hospital. So she's in charge of a hospital. And she sees him perform at his school and she's shocked. So the word astonished is just a shock, but pleasant, good shock. Yeah, that she's really she's like, wow, he's really such a good dancer. And um, and she says she's astonished to see such a talented boy. So he's really talented. He's a really, really good dancer. And actually says that she's moved, that he's gotten so far by himself. So she's moved in that she's, she feels emotional about it. She feels like affected by it. She feels really moved emotionally by it, that he's gotten so far by himself. He's such a good dancer. And he's never been to classes or anything. He's done it all by himself. He's gotten so far in his dancing all by himself. And the next page. And so she asks him, would you like to learn Baranatayam, which is the dancing style? And um, would you like to learn properly? Because he's never actually had a lesson before. And Kali laughs, which is a bit strange, but says that in his community, so in his village, in his small fishing village, they don't often have the chance to learn anything. So they don't go to school, maybe they don't learn dancing. Um, it says, let alone master. So what this is saying is that in his village, they don't often learn dancing and they definitely don't master dancing. So to master something is to get really, really, really good at it. So he hasn't even had one lesson. You know, he's not a really amazing dancer. And it also says in Kali's family, there's never enough spare money for dance classes. So they're a bit poor. They don't make a lot of money. They can't afford dance classes. And as well, who heard of boys dancing for a living? It's quite unusual. There's not many boys who do dancing in Kali's village. Um, but Sarah says she's serious. She's serious. She's real. She really wants to do this. She really thinks he should do this. Um, 
and she says you must learn in a proper school so a proper school is a real school an important school and she says I will pay your fees so however much it costs for him to go to this school Sarah says I will pay it for you so she's being very kind there um and I think there I've got some questions so we'll go over the questions and then we'll move on to the second half so question number one so if you want to look back over the book while you're I'll give it I'll read the question take a little break so we can all have a little look back through the book what is a hero what is a hero And the second question, what is a villain? So if you remember, we said these were opposites of each other. So like, they're very different. We've got heroes on one side and villains on the other side. Question number three, what dancing style does Callie do? What dancing style does Callie do? Uh, number four, where does Sarah find Callie? Where do they first meet? And number five, what does astonished mean? So if you are astonished at something, what does that mean? Okay. So answer to the first one, what is a hero? So if you remember, we said a hero was a good person. So a character in a story who is a good person. So Callie in this book is our hero. He's our really good person. Um, and then the next question, what is a villain? So the villain is the opposite of a hero. So he's the bad person. So this story doesn't really have a villain, I don't think, not yet. Um, but if there was a bad person trying to maybe stop Callie dancing, that would be the villain in the story. Okay. And number three, what style of dance does um, Callie do? It's called Bharatanayam. So it's an Indian word and it's a traditional sort of Indian dancing. And number four, where does Sarah find Kali? Where do they first meet? So they actually first meet at Kali's school because he's such a good dancer. He's doing these performances in front of everyone. And Sarah's in the crowd watching one of the performances and she's really impressed. She thinks he's really good. And number five, what does astonished mean? So this is when Sarah sees Callie at the school and it says she's astonished to see such a talented boy. So it means shocked and surprised, yeah? So she didn't expect to see such a talented boy, such a good dancer. Okay, so we're starting on page six now. Okay. Sarah arranges for Kali to, to visit Kalakshetra, one of the best dance schools in the country. It is a beautiful place in Chennai with lots of trees. Leela Samson, the head of Kalakshetra, who is also a renowned Bharatanayam dancer, tells Kali to perform for them. Kali ties a sari crookedly over his trousers and dances to a film song. The teachers think he has the makings of a classical dancer. But Kali can't decide what he wants to be when he grows up. Should he be an actor, a collector, a teacher, a biotechnologist or a dancer? His friends and family don't really help. Who has ever learnt dance and made any money afterwards? It's a waste of time growls Callie's mama. 
Only girls dance, you'll become girlish, his friends tease him. Okay, I'll just go to the previous page and go over these two pages. So what's happening here is Sarah is taking Callie to the really good dance school. It's the best dance school in the country and Sarah takes Callie there. And he says, it's beautiful, it's got lots of trees. And there's another woman now called Leela, and she's the head of the school, and she's also a renowned dancer. So the head of the school, um, the head is the person in charge of it. So she runs the school, yeah. And she's a renowned dancer, so she's a famous dancer, is what that means. And they tell Callie to perform for them. So performing is to put on a show so he's going to dance for them and he ties a sari over his trousers so the skirt that he's got on on the picture so he ties this round and he ties it crookedly so he doesn't tie it well it's a bit wonky like this he ties it crookedly and quickly and he dances to a film song so a song from a film and the teachers think he's really really good they think he has the makings of a classical dancer. So they think even though he's never had a lesson, he's such a good dancer that he could be a classical dancer. So a traditional dancer. And next page. But what we learned here is that Callie's not sure what he should do. So he can't decide what he wants to be when he grows up. So he can't decide what he wants to do for his job, what he wants to work as. Should he be an actor in films, a collector? Um, so this might be someone who collects art or something like that. Uh, it should be a teacher working in a school. Should he be a dancer or should he be a biotechnologist, which sounds like a very fancy job. So should he be a scientist? And he says his family and friends don't help. Um, who And his Mum, actually, she says, who has ever learnt dance and made any money afterwards? So his mum thinks he won't make any money from dancing. And she says, it's a waste of time. It's wasting his time. It's pointless. And she growls this, so she's angry about it a little bit. And his friends tease him, so they make jokes about him. And they say, only girls dance, you'll become girlish. So they think it's girly and only girls dance. So they don't think he should do it. Okay, and then this is the last page of this part of the book. So page eight. Amma wants Cal Amma asks Callie what his heart wants. Do you love dancing? Does it make you feel good? Is that what you want to do always? Yes, dance is all that and more for me, Amma, he replies. Then don't listen to anyone. If it makes you happy, learn dancing. As usual, Amma has all the answers. So in this, Kali's asking Amma what he should do. And Amma says what his heart wants, so what he really feels that he should do in his heart. And she says, do you love dancing? Does it make you feel good? And is that what he always wants to do? And Kali says, yeah, it's all that. And then Amar says that he shouldn't listen to anyone. He should just do what makes him happy. Um, it says, as usual. And so this means normally. So as usual, because this happens all the time. Amar has all the answers so she really knows she knows what's best for Callie and she knows what he should do okay so that's the end of that half of the book for today um, and I'll just ask some final questions about this half and then that's it so first question how does Sarah help Callie what does Sarah do for him to help him and there's a couple of things she does actually so name as many as you can. What does Sarah do for Callie? How does she help him? And the next question. Why is Callie worried about being a dancer? What worries does he have? 
the, the worries are things that he's scared about, maybe. What's he scared about? And finally, what does Amar tell Kali? Okay, so first question, how does Sarah help Callie? So Sarah helps Callie in a few ways. So one thing she does is she pays for his fees. She says, I'll pay for your fees at the school. So she'll pay for him to go to dance school. And she also, she takes him to the dance school, doesn't she? And she lets him perform for the really famous dancer. So he, she helps him in a few ways. Um, the next question, why is Callie worried about being a dancer? So what's he scared of being a dancer? And I think there's a few things that his friends and family say to him. So he's worried maybe that he won't make any money, that it's not very, he's not going to make a lot of money. He's not going to be rich from being a dancer. And also he worries that it might be girly. It's a only girls dance, boys don't dance is maybe what he's thinking um, and I think also it says that Callie can't decide what he wants to be when he grows up so he's just not sure what he wants to do he's not sure um, and the last question what does Amar tell Callie so I think Amar has some really good advice for Callie because she says to him you need to then she says don't listen to anyone if it makes you happy, learn dancing. So she says, what's important is what Callie feels. And if he feels happy dancing, then that is what he should do. Okay, so that's all I've got for you today, guys. So like I say, in two weeks again, we'll pick up this book and we'll finish it. I think this is a really nice book. I'm enjoying this one. Um, so I hope you enjoyed it as well. Um. Yeah, that's all from me. Once again, yeah, um, we'll be back next week with another book with Becca. And yeah, if you've got any comments or anything, do let us know. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.